Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to the World Below. Yep, that's right, it's a new Gentleman's Guide series. It has been quite some time. Now, first and foremost, some of you will hopefully be hearing this audio only rather than watching the video. This is going to be a series on my YouTube channel and on a podcast. Once that podcast goes live, I'll start posting the links below across various social media as well. Mainly thinking that one of the things I missed out on with The Gentleman's Guide to Vampires, Pentec Guide to Werewolves, and the various other series I did, I never made audio versions of them. And now there are so many people who tune into podcasts, it seems like a valid way to put my content out there. But yeah, we're back with a new series. It has been some time, but I found my groove again. If you've been watching my YouTube channel, you will have noticed that I've been making videos again fairly recently. And I thought, what better way to use my energy than to talk about this game that has consumed so much of my time recently, so much of my energy and enthusiasm as The World Below. Now, The World Below, for anyone who is unaware, is a new tabletop role-playing game. It was developed by myself and co-written by a number of fantastic authors, not least of which is Ed Greenwood. Uh, Ed Greenwood, uh, you may well be familiar, is the creator of The Forgotten Realms. I had the good fortune of developing his work, hiring him to work on this game, and I think the, uh, well, the depth of setting that comes with The World Below certainly reflects his involvement. Now, The World Below is a game where the name implies your situation. You are living, experiencing life in a, an entirely subterranean setting. And this is because at some point, a handful of generations ago, the surface world experienced a cataclysm, the nature of which is largely unimportant beyond the fact that going up to the surface tends to be a death sentence. It isn't an option in gameplay if you want to survive for long. And so you have to dig, you have to build, you have to explore, you have to map, you have to kill and slay and befriend or tame the various beasts and peoples and creatures and phenomena that exist in the world below. And you have to try and survive, of course. And so this isn't just a dungeon in the sense of you will be walking through it, killing monster after monster, experiencing treasure and trap after treasure and trap, though that element is definitely there too. There is also an aspect of settlement building. There is also an aspect of connection, forming bridges essentially between your settlement or community and another one deeper in the world below. It's a setting of religion and politics too. Uh, the individuals who hold the most power protect, or so they say, the well, which is a colossal portal of energy almost at the lowest point of the world below. And many, many people would like to have access to that well, but the uh, well leeches, who of course orbit the thing, are fairly hesitant to allow it into other people's hands. There are many faiths in this game, many guilds as well, because when you are living in a setting where there are all kinds of uh, survival necessities, you people need training and they need protection from their peers. So you have the kitchen who are responsible for harvesting and testing and refining foodstuffs. You have the cartographers, you have the artificers, all these guilds exist, but you also have your callings. And callings now are, I guess, equivalent in Dungeons & Dragons style to your classes. You have your hunter, your chaosist, your alchemist, your holy, and more. And various of these videos and podcast episodes will go into those things. Each setting community has its own write-up. Uh, along with the vast number of environmental options that exist in the world below too. The sheer number of monsters and threatening critters that exist in this setting as well is, is sizable, to put it mildly, but each one has a depth and motivation for what it's doing. I've had it described to me by one of the folks at Red Moon Roleplaying that the world below has the lethality and mood of an OSR game, but it has the narrative flexibility 
of a storytelling game, a World of Darkness or Scion or Trinity kind of game. And that is exactly what I'm aiming for. It's a game that is supposed to marry that which is, I guess, purest fantasy with the kind of character exploration and narrative arcs, aspirational playing and so forth that is present in all the games that Onyx Path Publishing, uh, White Wolf of Old and many more like to make. So the intention with The World Below is that it obviously wants to be a game for all seasons. You have a game where you can explore, you can try and, let's say, reunite your community with a community that's fallen silent, or you may well stay sedentary, try building the walls, houses, seeing off threats, defending the tower, if you like, from encroaching uh, creatures of various horrific kinds. Now, this is just the introduction. This is why I'm speaking about so much of it in general. But there will be more to come. I promise you that. I would love it if people commented to say what they were interested in hearing about vis-a-vis -vis the world below. And I will more than happily take your requests and make videos and podcasts about those things. As the months go on, you're going to see actual plays, you'll see a character creation session, maybe more than one. Uh, we'll be talking about as many aspects of the world below as I can talk about, short of basically giving you the game for free. Now, when this video goes out, it'll be around a month, a month-ish, before we aim to do crowdfunding for the world below. I don't have a link for you yet, but as these videos go on, a link will be posted in the video description below. And if you like the sound of what I'm talking about, please do consider picking up a copy. Uh, this is a game that is going to be so wonderfully illustrated, and it is already written. Uh, so any funding is simply to get yourself a beautifully printed version and to fund a traditional print run for gaming stores. But hopefully we will be able to pair that with lots of interesting apparel, paraphernalia, and lots of lovely little widgets and bits that will enhance your play of the world below. But we shall see. That's the aim for October. So... The World Below. It's the new game that I've developed from concept to, well, being fully written. It's now in editing as of time of recording. And it's been an absolute joy to work on it with the team. And I do hope that you follow along this new series as we start delving into different aspects of the game. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.